Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, replay overview of the Solara, or, sorry, uh, Solere Sahariano. It's currently my favorite premium. It's the tier 2 Italian or rank 2 Italians 2.7. And I'm running this thing today in arcade mode because I needed to get some achievements for the daily win. It was destroy 5 enemies in, I think, rank 2 um, arcade. So just, just get 5 kills. Not that difficult. At least you'd think so, but usually when you get those missions, I tend to struggle with them. Anyway, um, while my entire team seems to be flocking towards the A-point, I have other plans. I'm going to take on a flanking position and await volunteers, which happen to be driving into my gun sights. Of course, you're not as stealthy as you normally would be in a uh, realistic battle. But then again, I just want to get some side shots on the enemy team, as they are most likely also going to be flocking right to the A-cap. Now, in arcade battles, these vehicles handle so different from realistic. Is most of the time, I swear, I was not running an actual tank. I was running a small fighter jet. And you're going to see why in a minute. Now, I take some time just parking here, waiting for the enemy to show up. Uh, I see a whole lot of my team dying. I see a whole lot of their team dying. I'm thinking, this is all great, but I'm not getting any kills. I need to get out there, I need to start getting, uh, well, stuck into the fight, otherwise there won't be anything left to fight. So, after some deliberation, I decide to, well, without really having a better plan, just drive right in front of their spawn. So, let's see, here we go. The enemy spawn is to the right, which makes this a somewhat difficult, or, well, not difficult, but uh, potentially dangerous maneuver. And at the same time, it could be a very ludicr uh, ludicrous, <laughs> lucrative maneuver. T-28 up ahead. Let's go get the T-28. I need a kill, and that guy is apparently ready for it. Just as I turn the corner, however, the T-28 has died. But not to fear, there are more targets here, such as the BT-5 over there. Non-pen, first shot. I have my tank a bit too heavily angled, though, but whatever. Next shot, goes in, knocks the crew out. First kill, nice. Four more. Let's duck into the buildings before the enemy calls in the artillery strike here. And there is a Locust up ahead. EM-22s, very cute tank. I really like it. I don't have it yet, but I want to get one. Locust's up ahead. I'm trying to kill the Panzer III. Panzer III J1 that's up ahead. Over on the right, there's more tanks coming in, of course. But first things first. The Locust. This guy is completely oblivious and his ammunition happens to explode the moment that I hit him. Next target, the Panzer 3J. Crew knocked out, side shot. There we go. Third kill. Who would like to go next? Ah, contact from behind. This might have been somebody that I killed who's coming back for revenge. Bit of a derp moment as I run into the building. Looking at the BT-7, he comes in and the crew gets knocked out. All right. Any other contenders? Because there is another one marked on the map. Let's go kill him. Another derp moments I run into another wall. Let's go get him. Is he going to come my way? Yes, he is. BT-7. Apparently he is a bit more hesitant about whether he wants to fight. Now, I do want to fight, so I'm going to go out there and get him. And there's the BT-7. Shot. Crew knocked out. I'm not sure why I'm getting all these one-shot kills. It's a little unusual for me. Probably because I'm used to realistic. Anyway, that puts me on four kills so far. Sorry, five kills. Uh, here's the T-28. Let's go take the T-28 down. I have taken some damage at this point. Trying to get his gunner, so he's going to be stuck there. Next, trying to get more crew through the side of the turret. It goes through. Doesn't quite get the crew that I wanted. And I'm trying to reverse out of this position because I'm already seeing more guys coming in, such as this M3. The T-28's out. I can now focus on the M3. I don't care about your puny artillery barrage. I'm just going to go for it. Kill number 6 has been scored with the T-28. Here is the kill number 7. And look at this thing just drift right through the corners. I really, really enjoy this tank. Of course, in realistic, it handles a bit different. But if you're in a mood for derping around then this tank has you covered when it comes to arcade battles. Now, pulling back the tank a little bit, drifting into <laughs> position, and moving back to repair the tank. 
is I have taken some damage. I would like to, be, uh, to get my tank back in full working condition. And in order to do that, I need just a few seconds to repair. Currently sitting on seven kills. Can I get more? For now, though, I think it is more appropriate to start working on the cap. Because at the moment, the enemy team has quite a lot of tickets as a lead. And I need to get rid of that lead. So, let's go into the cap. My enemy team maybe not having any vehicles right there. Especially since my allies are all there. So let's get going, get into A, and see what else happens to show up. At this point, a good number of the enemy team has already died. So that is really beneficial. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> okay. Moving on, getting into the cap. There is a target right up ahead, but I think it just died over in Alpha 4. Almost <laughs> got off the ground there. And just taking some cover behind this wreck. Moving the cap along. I'm considering joining that air battle, but in the middle of a cap, right in the open, I don't think it's a good idea. So for the moment, let's not. Cap secure. Or sorry, cap uh, counter capped. Time to get another crew member back, because I had taken a casualty there. And let's see, is anybody up ahead? Yeah, several. The M3 Stewart has that flank covered, that's nice, so I can go around and potentially flank these guys yet again. Because that's something that the Celere seems to be doing fantastically well. It's so fast, uh, it has just enough armor to potentially take one, oops, or two hits. And it has a really nice gun that just dishes it right out. Tank up ahead, I want to see if he comes right into my crosshair. Up ahead, he's up ahead, it's a PZ-35. And it dies. Okay, fine. That's how it's going to be, then we'll have to just go out there and hunt them some more. What do we have? What do we have? Any takers? SU-76, there's a BT-7M. The Panzer 3F coming in. Plenty of takers, and they all seem to be completely oblivious. Fire on the move, crew knocked out, instant kill. Another friendly T-28 is already working on the SU-76. Uh, I fire on the move, but miss. Going for some shots here. The SU-76 dies, I think, on the behalf of... What was that? The SIG-33. Okay. Well, this clears up nicely, doesn't it? Now I can go and join that air battle that's been waiting for me. I can either do it in a bomber... Uh, fighter bomber, potentially... Oh, sorry, the fighter seems to have been taken at this point. So let's just park the tank. See if there's anybody coming out. No, not right now. Alright, perfect. Let's get back. Seven seconds away from an air battle. Uh, I am fairly terrible with planes, by the way. So what you're about to see is mostly for comedic relief, rather than anything else. It also gives me a bit more overview of uh, what the enemy has, which is a medium tank and an SPG. There's also an SPAA out there somewhere, so that also has to get some attention, potentially. And in the meanwhile, my team maintains their perimeter around the cap. There is the SPG. It's an SU-76M. Getting some shots in, but not really getting the damage that I want. And pull up. Come around. Slow down. Go for another run on the SU-76. Or if I cannot make that, I might have to go away and take out something else. Like the M13. But I take a bit too long to chase the M13 and I die. Alright, fine. Planes, not really for me at the moment. My skill level is just way too low to effectively make use of them. But this fighter, <laughs> the Celere, fantastic tank, let's go. And this is another way I might be able to get the kill on the M13. Doing some punching with the machine gun and firing shot. That's another kill. That's kill number nine. I'm operating fairly close to their spawn, but I believe that they have no active players left. The tickets run out and we win. Really enjoyed this match. It's so quick, this tank. It's so fast. And it's not just fast in a straight line, like some wheeled vehicles might be, but it's also great at turning. There we go, 26, 186 points, 9 kills, 0 assists, because I, well, I got almost all the kills in one shot. Uh, 1 cap and 0 deaths. 
I really had fun with that one, and I hope you guys did too. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more War Thunder.